Okay, so I'm doing a Bridgerton rewatch before, you know, the new season comes out because of course I am. Of course I have to. There's no other option in the entire world other than doing a Bridgerton rewatch, especially since I'm taking a Grey's Anatomy break and I need my Shonda Rhimes fix. So, 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 that being said, in this Bridgerton rewatch, I am currently on S season one, episode three. Episode three. I just got to episode three. And the thing is, the thing is, the thing is, Eloise Bridgerton sometimes makes me want to scream. I know, you thought I would probably talk about Simon or Daphne, but no, I, as the youngest sister of three sisters, have to talk about Eloise Bridgerton because she makes me want to scream. She makes me want to throw things at her, but especially when she's having this chat with Daphne where she's trying to like relay her fears of marriage and of having babies and how she doesn't want to. And Daphne's like, oh, well, like, you know, here's like the things that I remember about this and here's what I'm looking forward to. I love children. I love the concept of being married. Mother's always sold this to me very well. And Eloise is like, remember the time that mother like basically almost died when she was having hyacinth and Daphne is like I do I do remember that but like then we got hyacinth and that's very exciting like for me that's very exciting and Eloise basically refuses to believe her and refuses to believe that that's what she's excited for and it's like I'm just so sorry for you that you think that you have to lie to yourself like that and I'm like I get it I get it Eloise is like 16 she doesn't fully know better there's no fully formed frontal cortex that's gonna like develop here until she's 25 but she's so mean to Daphne continuously and it is the younger sister job to be mean to their older sister I will never say that it's not because it is and I do a very very good job at it okay um but this isn't DW Reed mocking Arthur for being bad at everything that he does this is Eloise being like I can't believe Daphne would ever want this I don't respect Daphne I have no respect for Daphne and 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 on top of it on top of it um then being like complaining about Daphne being excited about the concept of marriage and she's like there's no there's no good thing that comes from this like she didn't succeed in anything she just got a man as if that's not like the hardest thing possible to do at this time period as if Daphne didn't like get supposedly the guy of the season the guy that all the other girls were trying to get and Daphne who had been struggling for the entire season and almost had to marry Nigel Burbrook who's creepy and gross and I hate what they did to him because in the book he was just like this sweet little moron you know in the book he was just a sweet nerdy little moron and in the show they make him the creepiest man alive but they did it did get us the like part where um Violet Bridgerton is like well I'll do what ladies do best I'll talk and then she does and she fixes the entire problem she's just like the mother to end all mothers and I love her so much but anyways Eloise Eloise is like I just can't believe that Daphne would be happy about this and I get it I get it I get it okay literally I am the youngest of three sisters I understand complaining when your sister is happy or complaining when your sister is emotionally or complaining that your sister exists I get it I am it I've done it and I especially did it when I was 16 my sisters could do nothing right but the issue here the issue here is even when my sisters could do nothing right I was like proud of them and happy for them and it's so frustrating especially in the context of Regency England to hear Eloise just ber berating and degrading every woman for trying to do what society is telling them to do um because society is telling them to do that and if they don't do that they're going to ruin their entire lives and it's only because Eloise Bridgerton is a Bridgerton that she can kind of get away with it for so long and then that brings me into the next part and for the love of God, Eloise is a better friend to Penelope. No, Eloise is a worse friend to Penelope than Penelope could ever be to Eloise. And Penelope tried so hard to stop Eloise from going to that guy without like the proper safety net, without the proper um, accompaniment, and without anything that could possibly keep her safe and keep her protected and keep her from harm and keep her from the harm of just being ruined through words. And Penelope's like, you have to stop. And Eloise is like, I'm not gonna stop. And then Penelope finds out that everyone thinks that Eloise is Madame Whistledown or Lady Whistledown, whatever her name is. And Penelope does honestly the only thing that she can do to protect Eloise in the future from the queen like banishing her, from the queen ruining her life, from the queen doing something so heinous to the entire Bridgerton family that it would ruin not only Eloise but the entirety of the rest of the Bridgertons, okay? Because Penelope knows 
what she's doing and knows the burden that she carries by being Lady Whistledown. So she ruins Eloise's reputation for the good of Eloise and for the protection of Eloise because that minimal piece of ruining got the queen off of her back. And yeah, it could have gone either way. It could have just been that the queen would be like, good riddance. But we've actually seen that the queen is pretty fair overall and really likes the Bridgertons. So like, there was a safety net there. There was a potential of safety there. And Eloise is mad at Penelope. And she's not mad at Penelope for having ruined her. She's really, I don't think, uh, mad at her for that. She's mad at Penelope at Penelope for having a life outside of her and for having the safety net that Eloise could never do and could never have because Penelope isn't watched. Penelope doesn't have parents who care about her. She has a mother that kind of sometimes watches her and goes, oh, you exist. You exist. You're the bane of my existence, but you exist. Fine. Let's go marry your sisters off, okay? And meanwhile, meanwhile, Eloise has a family who loves her, a family who adores her, a family who wants nothing but to make sure that she's happy at all times, even Daphne, who Eloise is again trash to at any given opportunity. And it's so wild to me, and it's so crazy to me. Not that Pen not that Eloise would be mad at Penelope. Obviously, obviously, when your best friend does this thing and keeps the secret and does all these things, she's gonna be mad. But the part to me that feels like the biggest betrayal ever of all time, um, other than Eloise, is just like, she'll never understand how spoiled she is. She'll never get that she is this spoiled little princess who has everything handed to her on a silver platter. And every time that she thinks that she's breaking the rules, she's really not because she has four older brothers, three older brothers and a younger brother for protection to make sure that she'll be safe always. And Eloise, uh, Penelope has none of that. The part that gets to me, the part that gets to me is that in this new season, in this new trailer that they gave us, they showed us that Eloise is now actively hanging out with the girl who made Penelope's life hell. Not even Penelope's life hell in like a tiny little way. Like constantly tried to ruin Penelope in front of other people, even though Penelope was so clearly not competition because Penelope couldn't talk to people. Penelope was plus sized and apparently that was supposed to be bad in Regency England when it really wasn't like whatever. Um, and Penelope wasn't as pretty and she had the spots um, and all of these things, all of these things that made it so that Penelope would never be this girl's competition and this girl would act actively go out of her way to ruin Penelope and ruin Penelope's life anyway and it drives me nuts and that's the betrayal that's the biggest betrayal because if you've ever had a friendship breakup if you've ever had a friendship breakup there are still certain lines that you sometimes don't cross especially if you ever actually cared for that person and that is a line that Eloise chose to cross and chose to cross hard and that is mean it is I, I stand by it it's very mean and I don't like it and I'm very upset so upset. I am wondering if they're going to bring in the fact that Penelope does technically have a younger sister, but I don't think they are. I don't think they're going to, but I wish they would because I like her younger sister. I like her younger sister. Her younger sister is sweet and cute and kind, but she definitely doesn't actually exist, so great. Okay, that's it.